So, I got whacked off by Kent Hovine last week. I guess that demands further explanation. So the story starts with a protest that the tri-state freethinkers organized against Ken Ham's testament to stupidity, the Ark Encounter. Now, this is an annual event that they've been doing since the theme park opened in 2016. But of course, this year, they weren't going to encourage a big meetup. So they did an online thing. Anyway, so I was invited to give a talk, and for reasons that should be obvious, I themed mine around the consequences of lying to children about science, specifically biology. The name of the talk was, What's the Worst That Could Happen? So that goes up online. Kent Hovind eventually hears about it because he has a Google alert for Ken Ham taking one up the ass, I guess, and he watches the video. And it turns out that he doesn't care much for our characterization of creationism. Now, if you're not familiar with Kent Hovind, let me sketch out a little short bio for you real quick. Uh, Kent Hovind is a fucking fraud. And, and not just in the creationist who believes in God way. Hovind is a convicted fucking felon who fell for some sovereign citizen bullshit and later learned that he did do have to pay his goddamn taxes. So the fraudulent felon who was once arrested for burglary and assault in an incident involving a woman that worked for him was released from prison in 2015 and went back to work in the legally protected type of fraud where you lie to children instead of the IRS. It's in that capacity that he owns Dinosaur Adventure Land, a creationist theme park in Pensacola, Florida, that promotes anti-scientific biblical literalist bullshit. So like, basically, he's the somehow even more pathetic version of Ken Ham. Right. He's the he's the Joe exotic to Ham's Doc Antle. So no doubt when he saw the online protest against Ken Ham's park, there was a tinge of professional jealousy that we atheists weren't paying more attention to him. Now, uh, Hovind also has a little show on YouTube because there are no qualifications to have one of those. And, and one of the features on it, I guess, is something he calls Whack an Atheist Wednesday. Because either Christians don't know about dick words or he's just fully embracing the Freudian slips at this point. So he goes through the video of the protest. And he plays a few clips for each of the speakers. He does this thing that creationists do where they say a bunch of words and they move on as though they've refuted something. And of course, I'm not the only atheist Kent whacked off that day. He whacked off Aaron Ra, Mandisa Thomas, Eric Murphy, whole lineup of atheists for him to work his way down, taking our arguments right in the face and beating them off one at a time. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. He didn't spend a lot of time on me. The speaker immediately after me was Dietrich von Doom, and I guarantee you that motherfucker was dying to hurry up to get to the black Satanist. Uh, but he did take a stab at refuting the central theme of my talk, i.e. that he's a full of shit liar who fucking lies. And the entirety of his counter argument can be summarized as, nah, -uh. right? So with the apologies for metaphorically holding a mirror up to a mirror here, let me play the clip of him playing the clip. And no, by the way, I did not send that through a shitty background noise filter or anything. It sounds that bad through the entire fucking video. Like he's recording onto his laptop microphone in a tropical depression. Also, I, I didn't add that incredibly long pause. That was there. That five seconds was literally how long it took him to figure out how to play the clip he was just playing. But yes, that's the entirety of his rebuttal. I know that I cut it off kind of quickly at the end, but believe me, it's not because I'm hiding from the awesome retort he was about to unleash. It's because that's literally as far as he could get without trying to sell us one of his dumbass indoctrination videos for kids. After he gives you the hard sell on his lies science tells you about science DVD for only $9.99, he does yammer for a bit about how nobody's ever seen a dog give birth to a non-dog, and he's got a little plastic SpongeBob in a lab coat that he hits with evil universe varmint hammer here and there, but that's the totality of it. So let's tackle both of the objections he brought up there. Nah and uh, starting with nah. A uh, dude, how the fuck are you going to use the nobody has ever seen it happen argument when you're about to tell a motherfucker about the God who created the universe? But, but even if we set aside the abject hypocrisy inherent and in even deploying that argument, it's also just fucking wrong. I mean, no, we've never seen a dog birth a non-dog, but that's also not what evolution predicts would fucking happen. It predicts that we'd see a dog give birth to a dog with mutations, and we see that shit all the time. We see the kind of things one would expect to see over the course of a human lifetime if the theory was correct. 
because the theory is correct. Consider a world where science had to draw this arbitrary line that Hovind conjured out of whole fucking cloth. We, 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 we know how mountains form. Right, But since we can't watch tectonic plates meet and move all the way from seafloor to mountaintop, I guess we can't draw any conclusions. Right? I mean, come to think of it, without some seriously dedicated time-lapse shit over the long haul, we can't definitively say that babies turn into human beings. I mean, think about it. All the times you've ever been looking at a baby, have you ever seen one's arms suddenly grow or its head suddenly get bigger? Watch a baby all you want. You will never see that shit happen. I guess how adults come into existence will always be as big a mystery as where the hell all the babies go, right? So yeah, Kent, you fucking tried to whack me off and you missed. But if at any time you want to give it another go, I'm up for it. And if you want some advice on how to do it better, just email me. I'm happy to shoot you a video of me whacking myself.